I should stop calling these webcam Wednesdays. <laughs> Well guys, it's about that time of week for another one of these Webcam Wednesday videos, and uh, it's not even Wednesday, and the camera's... It is currently Monday at 1pm right now, and um, I've been pretty late, I haven't uploaded a Webcam Wednesday in a while. I should stop calling these Webcam Wednesdays, honestly, I should just call it like, a vlog, or a weekly vlog, or something like that, but that sounds too boring. So we're just gonna keep on calling it Webcam Wednesdays, because I'm a scammer. And that's what I do. So thank you guys so much for all the answers in the last video. I know it was a long time ago, but um, unfortunately I can't send red cubes to everybody because um, I had to be level 60 or higher in whatever server you are in for me to send the red cubes. So I'll send other things, uh, maybe a fusion anvil, could be like uh, items mega, gacha punt tickets, whatever else. You know, I'll send something, you know. So um, again, thank you guys so much for leaving your responses in the last video. Again, there will be a question in this video, at the end of this video, and I do hope you guys also leave a response for this. Anyways, the reason why I'm recording it like this is because, uh, you know, some stuff is happening in my life, family's over as well, so I'm pretty busy right now. I'm going to be working a full-time job in a couple of days, and probably going to be working overtime as well. So I don't want to like explain too much of why it's happening, but the reason why it has something to do with financial aid and um, grad school being very expensive. And financial aid gave a fraction of the amount that I was expecting to get, so yeah, not too good. But um, yeah, I don't want to go too much into that, but the reason why I haven't uploaded a uh, Webcam Wednesday, because it's been a while, and I have recorded them, you know, I've, I've been recording them consistently, but I can't upload any of them. And if you've noticed in the last Webcam Wednesdays that I did, um, I put some editing involved with overlays and layers, and because of that, the editing program itself couldn't handle it. So there is a whole bunch of frame freezing and all this kind of stuff. So you can hear, if you're just listening to the video, it sounds perfectly normal. But if you're actually watching the video, you'll see the frames freezing here and there and all this kind of stuff. So um, the editing program itself can't handle it. And Sony Vegas is like $500 and you know, I really can't afford that. So I'm working with a free editing program. This is the best that I can do. So. I apologize for that because I, I really am trying, but it takes a while, you know. The editing process from the from the moment the video is conceived to the moment the video like the moment I finish editing the video, it could take up to six hours just to do it, you know, sometimes even longer. And the time investment is pretty difficult. But of course I won't actually quit YouTube, you know, it's difficult, that would just mean less videos, but I will still keep uploading. So anyways, the stuff that's been happening on Maple and stuff that's happening in my life, um, you know, you just gotta deal with it, you gotta put it all together, and I figured, you know what, let's just, let's make this thing a vlog video, because when I get into call or when I get into university and with, um, with the pharmacy stuff, I realized that I can't actually just talk about Maple all the way through, you know, so I can't keep this thing just exclusively Maple story, I have to also just turn it into a vlog kind of thing, so I'm talking about my life now, all that kind of stuff. I think the camera's sliding. Yeah, it's definitely sliding. Why am I wearing a hat? Not to look cool, but because my hair is a complete mess. Preparation to move, all that kind of stuff. It's very exciting, of course. It's always exciting. It's just all this kind of stuff put together. It is, um, it's pretty busy. Anyways, let's talk about some stuff that's happening in Maple. So I've actually started training now, and um, you know, you're just like, Dennis, why are you training? I thought you said you were busy. But training is actually really fun. I actually like training, and the thing that I like about it is I can sit back and watch anime, and that's something I haven't done in months. You know, I remember like several months ago, I made a video about me doing inner ability. I believe I was trying to get attack speed plus one. I only uploaded two videos of that, but I actually have like five videos recorded of me doing inner ability. I spent over 500 KNX, and I still didn't get attack speed plus one. But yeah, I'm getting back into the whole swing of things with anime, you know. I still remember all the videos, uh, all the anime shows that I was watching. So like, I will have some training videos every now and then. I'll just like, you know, I might just record from 90% to 100% when I'm leveling. And just at that point in time, whatever's on my mind, I'll just talk about it, you know. So the video's gonna be... The channel is going to be more uh, vlog orientated. I also have some other stuff coming out as well, um, like a whole bunch of Demon Avenger videos. I haven't actually uploaded those. There's a whole bunch of stuff that's just on my waitlist to edit because the editing program is having some difficulty. 
but you know the stuff will come out when it comes out and I'm still working on that you know don't worry I haven't dropped any series or anything like that I'm still working on it I realize I'm juggling a lot of stuff it's unreasonable kind of if I juggle all these things together but I do feel like I can get it working so training's been fun. I'm currently level 212 on the Phantom. I trained like four hours last night and I got like 30% and it's, it's really nice, you know, it was really fun. I was using Showdown and my friend was taking the other side of the map. I provided the Kana and, you know, it, it was fun. I was not using double EXP events or double EXP cards. I was just using my regular buffs and um, it was pretty good. So training is a stress reliever, you know, not just watching anime, but even if I was just training, you know, it, it's most definitely a stress reliever, but now I can watch anime and train, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm definitely enjoying that, you know, just sitting down for a couple hours and just doing it, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty relaxing, so that's what I like about training. So a couple of weeks ago, I was going to talk about this in like two uh, webcam Wednesdays earlier, but a couple of weeks ago, uh, a lot of people were getting hacked, and people are still getting hacked on MapleStory. I can't 100% be sure and say like why it's happening, but my feeling is there is a service that Nexon uses, the gems. They use the service where it basically allows old players to recover their old account information, and I feel like hackers are using that information. Like if hackers have a little bit of information about you, like your like your real name, your um, birthday, all those kinds of things, they can literally go onto the ticketing system and just complain. Like they can say, hey GM, I lost my account, you know, I'm an old player, I lost my account, here's the information I have, can you please recover my account, you know? And they're using that, they're lying to the GMs, and if they cry enough, the GMs will just say like, okay, here's your account information, and then people are getting hacked from that. That's what I feel like is happening, but I can't 100% say like for sure that that's happening. Some people are saying database leak, I don't think that's what's happening, but it could be happening. So if you feel like there's a database leak happening, lock your items, you know, lock your items and change your password. I said I was not going to do any fancy editing. This is not even fancy editing, but it's an overlay and this could screw up the video, but here's a, here's a picture. So in this picture you can see uh, one of my buddies is telling me that he got hacked, but his item locks actually saved his items. So I would recommend using item locks. Don't use the 90 day item locks, but this is a PSA I guess, and um, don't get hacked. And if you do get hacked, make sure you have item locks, so yeah. It's and I didn't make this video to bash on GMs, I'm actually going to thank the GMs right now. And one of my friends, um, a couple of my friends actually, even a YouTuber, they got hacked, a lot of them got hacked, and the GMs actually did something that I didn't expect. What the GMs did is the GMs tracked all the stolen items and returned the stolen items to the victim's account. And it's crazy how they did this because I didn't actually think a GM would do this because uh, in the past what GMs would do is um, they tried this before, like a long time ago they would actually try recreating the stolen items and eventually they gave up because people abused it and they duplicated items with it, you know, they would pretend to get hacked and the GM would remake the item and then they would have two copies of the item. So the GM start, stopped doing that and they started giving maple points as compensation and it's really amazing to see the GMs coming back and actually bringing this thing back. They're not remaking the items, they're actually tracing the items for who has the items and they're actually taking them back from the hacker. So it's, it's crazy. And a few things that I have to say about this, because I've seen a lot of people losing money. Here's the thing, if you know somebody that got hacked, don't buy the items. Because if, if you get hacked, you know, say for example, person A gets hacked, right? Person B is the hacker. Person B takes all the items and sells it to person C. Person C is an innocent consumer. But what happens is this innocent consumer loses the item because the GM takes the item and gives it back to person A. So the hacker benefits because he has the money. The consumer now loses his money and person A recovers all his stolen items. So if you know about any sort of hacking, don't buy the items because you will lose the items because the GMs are now returning the stolen items. And a lot of my friends were hacked and the GMs actually saved the items. So, you know, thank you GMs for doing this because this is crazy. You know, I didn't expect the GM to actually trace stolen items. 
Also, something else that's pretty interesting that I saw is a new revamp. And in my in my previous video, I was talking about KMST patch 1.2.010, and um, that's with the character rebalancings. And a few characters got revamped, a few characters got nerfed, like the Paladins got heavily nerfed. And there is a new revamp again, uh, KMST version 1.2.011, so it's the next uh, version. And um, KMST basically is Tespia. It does not mean anything is finalized, because it is the test server, that's what TESPIA stands for. So this is the test server where people can basically test, like, do these skills work? Is this class broken? Is there anything that needs fixing? And that's what KMST is for. So none of these changes are finalized once again, but a lot of interesting things. In my previous video, a few people were actually complaining about the Dark Knights. They didn't get any sort of retouchings. This new KMST patch, Dark Knights actually do get some changes, and there's a whole bunch of other things that are interesting. I would show them on the screen right now, but I don't want to use over overlays and screw up this video. So if you want to see all these kind of things, definitely just check in the description below and there will be a link to Max Orange Mushroom's blog about these things. So uh, live streaming. The live streaming thing, um, probably like, I don't know when I can live stream because now I'm going to be working full time, actually going to be working probably overtime as well, 12 hours a day, six five to six days a week, you know, so it's going to be pretty busy for me and I don't know when I'll find time to edit these videos, but, you know, I'll make things work. I don't usually sleep eight hours a day anyway, so I'll make things work somehow, but yeah, just, just prior warning to you guys, it's going to be busy. So the Demon Avenger videos, the Nightwalker videos, I'm not just continuing the series, I haven't actually began them, so I have all these clips just piling up together and I really want to edit them, but it's just, it's so difficult to do it with these editing programs, you know, I didn't pay any money for them, so I shouldn't be complaining since it's all free, but I will somehow make these work and I'll get these videos out for you guys. So the question for this week is a random question because it's not anything that I really talked about. Uh, first of all, if you want to say anything about, if you want to give me your opinions about anything that I mentioned in this video, go for it because um, anything is really game for any question. But the specific question for this week is, what is your favorite aspect of Maple Story? Like it could be training, it could be talking with friends, it could be bossing. Whatever is your favorite aspect of Maple Story, tell me, tell me about it in the comment section below. And if I like your response. Even if, I, even if I disagree with what your opinion is, if I like your reasoning for why this is your favorite thing, you know, whatever is your favorite thing, if you have fun doing it, just tell me about it and, um, you know, I'll feature some of my favorite comments in the next video and I'll send those winners some cubes or some gachapon tickets or whatever, items, megas. Also, make sure to leave your in-game names in the uh, comments so I know who to send the items to, but yeah. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching these videos. It's really fun to make them and, um, you know, it, it is like a stress reliever, you know. You would think it's like more stressful in my life and people do ask me, Dennis, you're so busy, why do you make YouTube videos? The reason why I make YouTube videos is because, uh, I guess this is answering my question for you guys, what is the most fun aspect of the game? It's the most fun aspect of the game is actually interacting with an audience. You know, it's really fun. I have a, I'm a leader of an alliance. I try to talk with a lot of people and it's really fun to do that. And I just find YouTube to be an extension of that because YouTube allows me to communicate with more people and it makes the game even more fun, you know? So it's an extension of having fun on the game and that's why I like YouTube. So um, once again, in the comment section below, tell me about the most fun aspect of the game for you and um, why it's the most fun. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.